Do you have a dog or maybe you're thinking about adopting one? Well, then other than grooming yourself, you are going to have to start grooming them too. But what does that mean exactly? Dog grooming means taking care of the coat, skin, nails, and ears of the dog. It includes brushing, bathing, drying, the cutting of the coat, the clipping of the nails, and the cleaning of the ears. Dogs need grooming as often as people do, especially those dogs that live at home and share the bed with you. You can either take your dog to the grooming salon or learn how to do it yourself at home. Interested? Then let's keep going. You may not be aware, but brushing is the most important part in keeping your dog clean, especially if it has a long coat. With brushing, you can remove the excess hair that has become matted and dirty. Slicker brushes are most often used. However, if your dog has very long hair, a pin brush is recommended. Also, once you've finished brushing, it is important to comb your dog in order to check if there are still some mats in the coat. When you brush, remember to brush as close to the skin as you can, not just the surface of the coat. Bathing is a very important process in keeping your dog's skin and coat clean. If your dog has a long coat, never put it in the bath straight from the sofa. You'll need to brush it and comb it first to get the best results. If your dog is short-haired and also shedding, you should brush it or use a special tool called the Furminator that removes the shedding coat. Once in the bath, first you must soak the coat and then you shampoo it using only shampoo formulated for dogs. After shampooing, then you rinse the coat thoroughly. To dry, it is recommended to use a couple of towels to wrap the dog in order to dampen the wet coat. Drying is done by using towels, a blow dryer, and a brush. Remember that most blow dryers blow very hot air, so don't blow at the same spot on the skin for a long time. Use a slicker brush to brush the coat while blow drying. Always have your dog dried thoroughly. Most dog owners aren't experienced in cutting the hair of the dog. However, you can always try to keep your dog in good hygiene by cutting the hair on the inside of their paws, around the anal area, and around the eyes. Clipping the nail should be done once a month or at whatever rate the nail grows, but with a special dog nail clipper. Be careful not to clip the soft tissue with blood vessels in the nail because it will cause pain and a bit of bleeding. This part is easily visible in white nails. With dark nails, however, it may be more difficult to see, so you should be extra careful. As for the ears, clean them with a cotton pad that's dampened an ear cleanser. Wipe the inside of the ear as deep as you can, but don't push it. Never use cotton swabs because you can hurt the eardrum membrane. Have you tried grooming your dog at home? Got any special tips for the amateurs? Tell us in the comments about your experience with your canine friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more nerdy videos.